What's up, what's up? It's Coach Mike Lee, back with Lee's Fitness Unlimited. So today I just wanted to uh, address the ongoing topic in boxing over the weekend. Uh, Alexander Usyk uh, had a heavyweight championship fight against Daniel Dubois. And uh, Usyk went down with a body shot that was very suspect. A lot of people thought it was low. The referee ruled it as a low blow. Um, what do you guys think? To me, it looked like a fair shot, but it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell in 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 real time, you know. And uh, it's easy to say things should be differently in uh, hindsight, twenty twenty. But in the heat of the moment, you really can't. I don't think you can really blame the referee on that. Um, it just it just how the fight went now. Uh, Dubois or Dubois, I'm not sure how to pronounce dude's name, but if if he was truly the better man that night, he would have still found a way to win, in my opinion. Um, Alexander Usyk is pound for pound one of the best, and he showed it. You know, he took a he took a a tough shot, went down, got back up, finished the fight, won by TKO. It didn't even go the distance. So for uh the challenger to uh, say that he felt robbed. I don't know about that, but a lot of uh, the boxing world, you know, thought so. It was it was a lot of mixed feelings about that. Um, but that's that's our sport. That's that's what boxing is. Is uh, a lot of things are uh, left up to judges referees you know uh a fighter's fate is in other people's hands at the end of the day unless he goes in there and and gets the job done and finishes the fight basically what Usyk ended up doing you know and another fight over the weekend was uh jared uh the real big baby anderson he fought audrey rudenko who was uh from the uk and Jared did what Jared do, and that's get busy with combinations. You know, he let his hands go. It was a fight off of a a, a quick a quick turnaround. He had just fought in July, and uh, you know, eight weeks later, back in the ring, and uh, he put on a good fight. He um, it was a step down in competition from his previous fight against a uh, former uh, heavyweight champion, uh, Charles Martin. But um, he's staying busy. He's staying busy, and he is uh, hes on a good track. He's on a good pace. So it's going to be interesting to see where he goes. Um, but, yeah, I brought him up because he finished in his fights. He only had one fight. He's 16-0 with 15 knockouts. That one fight... Uh, against Martin, that was a step up for him, and uh, he he got the job done. He didn't get the knockout, but he got the job done. But he came right back with, you know, an uh, opponent that he was pretty much supposed to win, but he did what he was supposed to do, and that's what it comes down to. That's what's entertaining people, and that's what's gonna get you those fights. That's what's gonna get those prospects moved up towards a contender level. And then uh, eventually championship level is you got to be entertaining. You know, it's too much going on right now in the world, especially with boxing. You know, although this week may be a, a, a dull week, we won't have any big fight schedule at the moment for this week. But you got to be uh, you got to be putting on shows. As you see, these YouTubers coming into the game, getting busy and making money and you, you can't knock them. You know, you can't knock them. Some people hate on it. You know, whatever their fighting ability is, it is what it is. It's going to get exposed at some point if they stay in the game long enough. But the fact of the matter is they're getting that money and they're getting the bag. And uh, it's because they have the attention of the people. You know, boxers, you guys need to, you guys got to put on a show. And um, it don't always have to be with your mouth. If it's not your character to be a shit talker, then don't be. But you need to be doing something to where people are going to remember you, you know. 
and people outside of just uh, the boxing community. That's great. You're going to get your respect real, recognized, real, and, and you will get your respect from the right people. But if you're talking about being a superstar, it's more to it than uh, just winning fights and impressing, you know, boxing enthusiasts. You know, you got to be able to impress your average Joe, somebody that just happened to come across you and that first impression you made on them was memorable. Jared Anderson is doing that because he's knocking people out, you know, and he's got the American flag behind him because America always wants a, a, a top-notch heavyweight, you know, and we're still searching for that right now. We had it with Wilder. Wilder's kind of falling off. And uh, right now, top heavyweights is uh, Tyson Fury, who's at right, right now looking unbeatable. And then we got Alexander Usyk, who, you know, needs to get in the ring with Fury. I believe he wants to. We'll see if Fury really wants to answer that challenge. But those guys ain't from America. And American boxing fans, they take pride in in having that heavyweight title, you know. So Jared Anderson is doing what he needs to do. It's going to be interesting to see what fights he gets next. Uh, top ranking and Bob Arum is moving them. You know they 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 staying busy with them. They promoting them, but uh, you know the world's in his hands. Top rank don't have a whole lot of superstars right now fighting under under their uh, promotion banner. So Jared Anderson wants to stay busy. He wants to get his money. And it's a great opportunity for him to stay busy because they got to have people headlining their fights. Um, in my opinion, the best the best fighter on top rank right now is Shakur Stevenson. And, you know, we'll see what happens with him. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with him and Devin Haney. Um, that's a fight that the boxing world definitely wants to see. So, we'll see. But until we get that, Shakur is not fighting all that often. You know, he, 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 he is active. He's not an inactive fighter. But... He's not um, he's not getting that that month after month uh, fight hype that that um, Jared Anderson's getting right now just because of his recent activity in the ring, you know, headlining these cards. So that's it, man. I'm just checking in with y'all today. If you like this video, thumbs up, show some love, like it. Drop a comment on what you think. You know, was the Usyk hit a low blow or was it fair? And is Jared Anderson going to be that dude in the heavyweight division for America? Or is he already? Let me know. You know, let's get some engagement on this thing. But until next time, I'm Coach Mike Lee. And I'm out.